All my dreams and goals are about peace in my country. I do not have any personal goals or something. I really want and I believe that everything will be good and my country will be powerful as before. In Washington DC we have Min Oksana Makarova. She is a Ukrainian ambassador in the US and she told us that we are all ambassadors of Ukraine so I'm really really interested to share the real information about Ukraine. Ukraine is actually uh, located in the central part of Europe. Our culture is very unique. We have a lot of traditions and uh, a lot of different customs. I think nowadays Ukraine play a great role for the whole Europe and the world and it is very nice that uh, knowledge about Ukraine is spread in all over the world because I guess uh, recently uh, not so many people knew where Ukraine is located or what is our flag or what do, language do we speak. People, they are all maybe not so smiling, not so positive all the time, but they are still really, really cool. And uh, I think we will have freedom. That's, that's the only thing I can really say. Because of the invasion in 2014, uh, we had to leave uh, my hometown when I was around 10, then I was just moving around Ukraine a lot. We moved to Kyiv, to capital, just to live there and start our own new life from the scratch. So then the war also began in 2022, so it was a bit hard for us to accommodate, to understand what is going on, because we had that before. Uh, I'm currently living in UK for almost two years. It wasn't my will. I moved there because of the war in my city and it wasn't my choice. It was just um, um, an important move my family decided to make. I have also my sister, she's 10, so it was a big um, stress for her. When the war began the first time, she was only one year old and she didn't actually remember anything, but she was still scared. And now, when she is like a teenager, I guess, uh, she understands all of that and she has a lot of questions. I really want you to know that we appreciate all the help that you send us. That we just appreciate all of the help that Americans gave to us and that we are like very open to to all of the world and to America to talk, to communicate, to exchange the our culture overall. I'm very very grateful to see all the support in worlds, uh, in the Ukrainian flags, in ties, um, even in interests of people to to know something about Ukraine, to know something about Ukraine from a person that lives there. We do appreciate all the help that you do and it's very important and necessary for us to uh, to be heard and to know that someone from the, the other part of the world uh, can support us uh, in this uh, great full-scale war. To overcome the stereotype that, that American can have about Ukraine. So normally in my host family they ask me a lot of questions about how we live, how we live during the war and how the life war before the war. We talked a lot, I, I see that they know a lot about Ukraine and are actually interesting and they are supportive. Um, and just uh, in general they are really interesting people, we can talk about different stuff, uh, about they traveled a lot. So. I want to uh, say great thank you to my host family because they are awesome. I think that uh, they are the sweetest people actually I've ever met. And thank you so much for welcoming us in Kansas City uh, to put us in this wonderful host families. We are already friends and I hope we're gonna stay in touch for more. So it is a shame I cannot uh, like, stay with them. And also all the people who are like global ties, yeah. So, um, it is a nice opportunity for us just even to change our scenery, just to see that life is going on and um, I think because of this program a lot of students now have their goals, have their dreams. So I think that we all have something new and uh, great experience. Thanks.